guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to be doing a video that actually a few of you guys have requested in the past and that is basically I'm going to be going through my Coastal Sense eyeshadows. I don't think I can go through every single eyeshadow because then we would be here all day. I have all of these and then some others in a different palette. So because I have so many, I thought it would be good to just go through and pick out my favorites and my least favorites to kind of give you guys an idea of which shadows to get on their website. If you guys were looking on their website, I know it can be very overwhelming. It's hard to pick and choose which shadow is going to be best for you when they have so many on their website. So if you guys needed a little bit of help trying to figure out which one would be best for you, this video is for you. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have a favorite Coastal Sense single shadow, please let me know down below. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so let me go ahead and start by showing you guys this little palette here. Now the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because I can take a smaller palette like this. This is actually their magnetic palette in the mini size and the travel size. I love this because what I can do is take my single shadows and put them into this little magnetic palette and kind of create my own little color story like you guys see I did right here. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lids today. I've got the gold, the red, this little transition color here, and then the purple is on the lower lash line. And then the, oh, and then this one is on the inner corner. I actually didn't use the pink today. What I'm gonna do is put some of my favorites in this pan real quick, and then I'll be back to show you guys what my favorites are. If you guys are wondering, this is what it looks like kind of with just shadows in it. I love this. And then I do have this larger one, of course. I did take a bunch of shadows out of here already, but I just wanted to show you guys. I love these palettes. It's an affordable way to get a magnetic palette. These are so, so inexpensive. But this one, if you buy 10 Hot Pots, you can get this for free. I think it ends, hold on, let me check their website real quick. It ends on Friday, so tomorrow. So definitely, if you want to get any of their shadows, and you want the little palette that goes with it, if you get 10, you get that free until Friday. So I just wanna let you guys know that was an option. So they have this shade here, which is a shimmery tangerine color. It's Tangerine Dream, and it's a shimmery orange. It is so stunning. So the reason, sorry, I'm trying to do swatches here for you guys. There it is right there. The reason I love this one is because you get that orange look, but it's gonna give you more of a pop than some of the other oranges that they have on their uh, website. Now, one of the shades that I find to be the most pigmented and the most intense is Elven Blue on their website. This is such a stunning shimmer. If you love shimmer shadows like I do, this one is absolute perfection. Let me show you guys this one. Do you see how intense that one is? Super, super nice. Not all of their shimmers are gonna be really, really intense like this. So these two, I just feel like give you that really nice intense foiled kind of look and that's why I love these. So this is my favorite blue on their website. My favorite green on their website is actually more of an olive green kind of color. This is the shade Grapevine, Grapevine? Yeah, Grapevine. <laughs> And this is, again, very, very foiled, very metallic, really, really nice green. And it's gonna be that olive green color, which is perfect for fall and winter. So it's gonna be really nice for the upcoming season. Love that one. Now we have the golden shade that I'm wearing on my lid today is one of my absolute favorites, 18 karat gold. I love gold shimmer shadows. These are some of my absolute favorites. Let me find a little spot for this swatch on my hand. There you have 18 karat gold. Very nice, true gold, not too yellow, not too bronze, just right there in the middle. Love, love, love this gold. Again, very metallic, very nice. And this is what it looks like on the front. I have another green that I really like on their website. It's called Paris Green. And again, it's a very nice metallic shimmery kind of finish. Let me find a spot for this one. So this one's gonna be like your classic teal green that everyone loves in the summertime. I know summer's almost over, but I still really love this shadow and I feel like it's one of the must-haves on their website for sure. It looks like this on the front. Love that one. Okay, and then the last shimmer shadow that I'm gonna put in my favorites is definitely dark goldenrod. So this one is gonna be a very dark, dark golden shade. It's called dark goldenrod. It's a dark golden shade. It almost has like little hints of green in it and gold. It's very, very interesting. Very, very beautiful shade. I hope you guys can see it there on my hand. It looks really, really pretty with like a, as like a dark smoky eye. You wear like a brown on the crease and then put this on the lid and it's just really, really beautiful. So I love that one. Okay, I actually have one more shimmer that I forgot about. It's called amethyst and it's just a really nice purple. So this is my favorite shimmery purple from the bunch. And let me try to find a spot for this one somewhere on my hand. My hand is a mess. 
So there we have that one there. You can see it's a really nice pop of purple. It's really gonna show up nicely on the lid and it's gonna be very opaque. All of these honestly are very, very nice opaque shades that are really gonna show up on the lid, but also give you a nice metallic foiled look. All right, that's gonna do it for my favorite shimmer shadows. Now we're gonna go ahead and do my favorite matte shadows. So I do have some of those in this little palette too that I'm gonna show you. Oh no, I forgot one shimmer, you guys. The one that I'm actually wearing on the inner corner is Nectar. So this is just a nice champagne, you know, your classic champagne kind of color. And again, very, very nice reflective look to it. I love this as like a topper or an inner corner highlight. I can't believe I forgot that one. It was in here in my palette. <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna do it for shimmers for real. Let's go ahead and get into the matte shades. Okay, now let me show you guys my favorite red. Now this one is my favorite just because I think it flatters my skin tone the best out of all the other reds on their website. It's pomegranate red, very, very pretty. This looks like my perfect red lipstick too. <laughs> just a great color to complement my skin tone, but they do have a few different red options. I honestly like all of the reds that I've tried from them. Actually, no, I'll say if you're gonna pick a red, pick either this one, pomegranate red, or baked clay, which is this shade here. I feel like baked clay is a little bit more of a classic red. It's not gonna be quite as opaque, quite as intense as the other one. It's gonna be a little bit more sheer, but still very, very pretty and buildable on the lid. This one's baked clay, this one is pomegranate red. Now let's get into my favorite purples. So the first one is gonna be magenta. That's gonna be sort of that like pink purple kind of a shade. And then I really love vibrant plum. So let me show you guys the two of these next to each other. This is what they look like on my hand. So this one is gonna be magenta and this one is gonna be vibrant plum. I just think these out of all the purples on their website are the ones that blend the nicest and look really nice and smooth on the lid. Okay, if you guys just love a classic neutral crease, I love petal peach. This is such a stunning, unique transition color to me. Let me show you guys a little swatch of it. So it is a peachy colored transition color. It's such a light peach and it's really just gonna work with your skin tone and kind of just make the perfect little transition shade for your skin tone. I've used this on myself and a few other people and it just complements anyone's skin tone beautifully. So I love that one as a transition color. And then another really cool unique transition color is Fool's Gold. So this one is gonna be almost like your mustard, yellow brown kind of color because i have yellow undertones it's going to be a little bit harder to see and this is a very light sort of transition color so there it is right there you guys can see the difference between the two again just very nice these are very very smooth and they look beautiful as transition colors on the load these are definitely my two favorite transition colors all right let's get into some more colorful shades i love the shade bright yellow this is a bright yellow <laughs> But here's the swatch on my hand here. It's not gonna be super, super intense, but when you use this as a transition color, it's just beautiful. If you're using it as a transition for like another colorful look or something like that, that's what I like to use it for. I did do a pink purple spring tutorial and I used this shadow in that tutorial. I'll go ahead and link it if you guys wanna see that but just a beautiful yellow color that's not too bright, too intense. And then the next one I really love is Vibrant Blue Green. This is one of my favorite shades for sure. And it's just, oh, let me see if I can give you guys a swatch there. Can you guys see that? <laughs> but it's just the perfect teal green matte. It's super, super pigmented. So it shows up nice and bright on the lid and I absolutely love it. All right, that's it for my favorites from Coastal Scents. Now these are just like my top absolute favorites. I do have others that I really enjoy, but they're not necessarily at the top of my list. The ones that I just showed you are the ones that if you only were gonna buy a few, those were the ones I would recommend. Now let's go ahead and get into some of the ones that I would say you avoid. I think these are some of the ones that maybe look a little bit intriguing on the website and exciting on the website but they just don't perform as nicely as some of the other shades. So the first two I wanna talk about are some of the shades that I was most excited to try on their website because I love color. The first one is Indigo, which is this really dark blue kind of color. And then you have Deep Grape, which is a deep purple kind of color. So I was really, really excited to try these, but I just was left a little bit underwhelmed with them. Let me show you guys a swatch. So this is the blue one here. This is the purple one here. Both of these kind of just buff away when you blend them on the lid, you try to get a little bit of a blend with them. You can't really blend them that much. These would be fine if you're just trying to pack on the color and you're okay with sort of working with it to get the the kind of like the pigment that you really want from them. You have to work with them a little bit. If you're willing to do that, they're good, but I just don't recommend them if you're looking for something that's easy to use and easy to blend. Okay, now for a shimmer shade, I have Jewel Teal 
and that's this one right here so it just doesn't pack as much of a punch as the other teal shimmer shade that i showed you this one's just going to be a little bit dull a little bit less kind of metallic looking than that other one so that's why i prefer the other one over this one it's a really beautiful shade still i just think again if you're only looking to buy a few shades you don't really need this one in your collection when the other one that i showed you earlier is so much more intense now if you don't like the super intense ones then this one's actually going to be perfect for you just for me personally it's not as good as the other one i wanted to show you guys another metallic orange too just to show you guys that i like the other metallic orange or shimmer orange that we talked about earlier better than i like this one so this one is called phoenix sun and tangerine dream is the one that i told you guys you should get this is phoenix sun right here again still very nice still very pretty but if you're only going to get one get the other one don't get phoenix sun because this one's just not as intense or as bright as the other one and again it's just going to depend on personal preference i have raspberry tart which is another shimmery purple shade and again this one just doesn't give me quite enough shimmer quite enough impact there it is right there it's just not going to be as intense as i want it all right guys that's gonna do it for my favorite and least favorite coastal scents single eyeshadows hopefully this was somewhat helpful if you guys are wondering which ones to get which ones to pass on especially if you're only looking to get a small number of them at a time hopefully this is helpful <laughs> anyway let me know your favorites down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more i'll see you guys in the next one bye